right, you guys asked and you guys shall receive. So last video I did on the macro and best settings completely blew up. It did really good. And since era eight dropped, I've been getting a lot of, a lot, and I mean a lot of comments and DMs asking me about era eight and the best settings and the best macro. So I got y'all and this time I'm gonna have more information in the video. It might be longer, but I recommend you guys listen to my yapping because I'm gonna be explaining step to step mostly on the macro part because the issue with last time is you guys didn't really listen to me. I don't wanna, I don't wanna shoot shots here but you guys weren't listening to me properly a lot of you guys would have my dms because i did say dm me if you need some help so i will yeah i will get some dms people will talk about oh my macro isn't working it's because they didn't know how to position themselves they they didn't listen to my video they downloaded the macro and thought that that was it you just had the macro and it would work no it, there's there's a big process of this and if you don't want to use my macro then don't use it go ahead and use dolph or another macro okay i'm just showing what i use and what i think the best optimized settings are for this update and the best macro that i could give you guys i'm also going to be giving away 30,000 robux at 100,000 subs man we're close so three winners get each 10,000 robux make sure y'all like sub and comment down a user to enter and yeah won't waste any more time let's get straight into the video so first we're going to talk about settings i've talked about this before but these are my settings skip warning is disabled swap warning is disabled i have my roll cutscene at 1 million now well, cutscene is completely up to you. You could have this at like 300k if you want to see the celestial cutscene, but I just have it easier because I don't really want to see like that little star, the, my glass or my screen go all white and have a glass break in the middle of the night and it just like flashes me because my monitor does face my bed. I don't want that flash, so I, I turn that off. I have it on 1 million and I do want to see the arcane cutscene because it is still like, you know, the little star. Auto equip, I've always had this since auto equip first came out. It's always been at 900 or 99k in case exotic, right? But this again is really based off of your settings in aura filters it can be completely different if you just have everything on auto skip again i recommend you guys doing what you want in auto skip i have some auto skip on right now and auto equip on as well i usually always turn these on just because it makes life easier and it overrides the settings completely like your auto equip settings it overrides it completely so i recommend you guys working on the aura filter but i usually keep this here in case you know i want to get exotic and right now i do want to get exotic so i got that right there or you could just do auto equip exotic it doesn't really matter one or the other works but again these two are completely up to you but this is what i use if you guys want to copy go ahead now for the buff enabled buff enabled should always be on buff enabled basically means the new max luck okay so remember when the update dropped and i went over everything new in the update everything new in the update did include a new max luck setting which you were able to set your luck now they removed it and they replaced it with something called buff enabled and what buff enabled does is the same thing if we have buff enabled on that means all of our buff at the bottom right our gauntlets our potions all work but by example if we turn it off it will completely disable i'm going to show you guys i currently have a 6x luck as you guys can see every roll we're going to turn that off and it goes all the way down to one and it x's everything so obviously you always want to have this on the only reason i see you turning this on is by example you need commons for a potion or you need rares or you need on commons that's the only reason i'd see you turning that setting off now for the auto eye notification please remove this okay i know you guys don't want to hear the deek, deek, deek every second every time you're trying to craft these gauntlets mostly now that these gauntlets take forever to craft you are not trying to hear that setting go on every every time might be one of the worst settings they've they've added or the best settings they've added sorry not worse because it, it it's so annoying to hear that effect all the time coin notification i have on i could you, you could always have it off but i'm gonna turn it off actually i'm gonna keep it off because it'll help me i don't i don't want to hear it. ding 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 every time i get a coin i think it, it is better if we turn it off hide afk others that's all up to you pvp is really up to you if you're going afk in a public server i recommend not having pvp on because it's, it's just gonna be like awkward just you're just gonna keep dying so i recommend having it off obviously if you want to pvp with some friends you want to do some messing around turning on but you know for afk turn that off background music ui sfx and other auras sfx and server sfx these four in my opinion is all up to you background music should 100 percent be off 100 percent other auras sfx should 100 percent be off if you're going in public servers because that is going to completely make your ears bleed it's going to be loud server sfx should be off as well because again if you're popping heavenly potions or you're in a public server you're, you're just going to keep hearing the rare sound notification of people getting auras it's super annoying so i recommend you guys turning that off and you ui sfx that's all up to you honestly i don't really like the the, the sound effect every time i go around and here and there but yeah, i recommend having it off but yeah anyways these are my settings you guys can copy pause whatever okay now for what you guys have been waiting for i will be in depth with this okay everything is in my discord please join my discord to make everything easy i'm only gonna be okay 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 i will be of help to you guys guys if you guys have issues if the macro breaks and i get a lot of reports of it i'm gonna re-upload it in my discord not in the video 
not in the Google Drive I'm gonna put in this because last time it got a ton of reports as a malware software for some reason. I don't know why some of you guys spam reported that, but it got taken down. So all the people that watched the video can't access that macro anymore. Well, not that it matters anymore since era seven's over, but in the last couple of weeks, like two to three weeks of era seven, people could access the macro. They have to join my Discord because you guys spam reported the, the drive. So again, please join my Discord if you guys want updated macros, updated news on this. And if you guys wanna be in some videos, popping heavenly twos. Okay, so first things first, we wanna make sure we have tiny tasks. It's simple, go to the tiny task website. It will be linked in the description. You wanna download. Remember, tiny task only works on PC, on desktop, on Windows. I don't think it works on Mac. On Mac, sorry, I could be wrong. It could, I've, I've heard some people say it works on Android. I don't know how it works. This is strictly for desktop that or anything that can use tiny task. So we're gonna have our tiny task out. Let me pull it up real quick. Okay, so we have tiny task. For example, here is the era eight macro VIP tested by a lot of my friends, Fade and Frieza, and they have said it works. We want continuous playback on. We want the playback speed to be one. Recording hockey, playback hockey doesn't matter as long as you can play it. Continuous playback is always supposed to be on. Every time you reopen tiny task, it won't save your setting. And to open the macro, we're gonna press the open button and then as you, all my macros over here and you're gonna press the macro that you downloaded so era 8 macro vip one by example is gonna be one of them you're gonna click it and you're gonna down you're gonna open it and it's gonna open the file okay once it's open you're gonna want to reset but hey because some of you guys don't usually do this when you open the macro you just stand like this and, and hope it positions yourself i have an auto reset so once we play the macro it's gonna auto reset now my cat is kind of in the way but how this works is we're always gonna be looking at this hill right here okay so we're gonna be looking one two three four five studs and we're more towards the left of this stud obviously the placement could be different for a lot of people i recommend if that doesn't work you can't get up the hill i do recommend you guys trying different different placements but i'm gonna press f8 which is my playback hockey it's gonna start the macro so it's gonna reset off rip it's gonna position myself and here is one of the interesting parts with this macro. I kind of fixed this macro compared to era seven where it's easier to get up the hill. I kind of had it have it colliding more with the wall just so it's like it, it pushes you up the hill more. Even if you get the positioning wrong, it'll help. As you guys can see, it goes behind the stand. Obviously there is gonna be some non VIP ones as well. So don't worry if you don't have VIP, you're okay. And uh, the whole macro spams F. So the whole time you're gonna be spamming F. And if you do get teleported back, it's not the macro. I've been, I've had like five reports in my DMs of you guys talking about and sending me a clip. Oh. I got sent back because of my macro. Like, I don't know why it teleports me back and I have to tell them, dude, that's not the macro. It's your internet. It, it does it if you're lagging. Okay. So as you, this is where, this is the important part. So I have it right here where it collides you against this wall right here. Boom. Yeah. Put against the wall, jump over, and then you're going to go up and then you're going to collide against the wall on the right here in a second. We're going to collect here, go all the way on the right. Boom. And then we're going to jump, jump here on the wall again, jump again here. Now you're positioned. Now you're always positioned to go up this hill. Go up the hill, it's gonna work. Obviously, this is the macro I'm using, era eight VIP macro, blah, 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 whatever. I'm gonna have another version of this, and I'm gonna have a third version of this because it was recommended by some people to do the obby luck. If you want it to be the obby luck, which I don't recommend you guys having the obby luck one, it will mess up a lot. And you cannot blame that on the positioning. You can't blame that on the macro. It's just how it goes. Your macro is not always going to be 100%, mostly when you're doing close parkour like this. And it won't work for non VIP. I'm not doing a non VIP one that goes like this. So I'm going to quickly go over. You're going to want to download Tiny Task, the one in my description. You're going to want to go ahead and download my macro. You're going to open Tiny Task, have continuous playback on, open the file. You open it for it to work. Okay, and then once you do that, you're gonna put continuous playback on. I think I already said that. I don't know what I'm saying. You're gonna position yourself, you're gonna reset, always reset. You shift lock position yourself right here, and then you start your macro. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. It doesn't matter how zoomed in you are, how zoomed out you are. Actually, it kind of does. You don't wanna be too zoomed out, but you wanna be someone zoomed in for the house. You're gonna do that, and everything should go the way it is. Again, if there is issues with the macro, it will be updated in my Discord server. So you guys have to join it if you want updated versions if there's any issues it's not going to be updated in this video it will be updated in my discord it is in my description and it will be on the screen as well anyways hopefully you guys enjoy this hopefully the macro works hopefully these settings this advice works for you guys too and i'll see you guys next video peace out everybody
book a flight to SA, I might spend a couple rent.